Hi everybody, welcome back to the fourth card in November's Merry and Bright card class. We are almost at the end of our class now. I hope you've enjoyed making the cards so far. For the final two cards, um, they're a little bit more detailed, so I do hope you follow along okay. Any questions, please do get in touch. As always, anything I've used can be purchased from my online store. So if you're watching back um, on the replay and you wanted to purchase anything, go to my online store. The details can be found in the link below. So for card number four, I have used the same ink colour for the bulbs and I've gone with Daffodil Delight with some crushed curry for the filaments. Um, I'll just bring that up a little bit closer so you can see it. There we go. There it is in all its detail. Um, as before, I used the silver glitter adhesive sheets for this one i've gone for gold um absolutely love using sparkles at christmas so that i wanted to incorporate it into these cards um for this card you need to use the following pieces so you've got a white card base you've got some of the fa -la, -la, la la dsp love how that sounds you've got some of the pink and red stripy dsp and you've got a piece of white for the inside of your card you have in your kits four of the gold screw tops and you have a black wire with the kink in it okay you'll also notice we've got this white die shape and that's also in your kit and that's cut from the radiating stitches dies which are part of our online exclusives so let's make a look start Put that up out of the way Give your card base a nice fold. Um, starting to put this inner piece inside just to add some strength to the card. Like so. And then you've got your DSP. Don't forget to put your DSP on the right way. Um, I wonder why I'm asking and saying that. It's because that's what I did when I first made this card. And then you've got your piece of DSP. Just checking that's the right size. It is the right size. Okay, so those are our starting point. Oh, we can also put on this. This is going to be on with some dimensional pads. There we are. Okay, so we made a good start. Put that up there as well. Um, next up, we're going to do a little bit of stamping. And the two colours that I'm going to be using is Crushed Curry and Daffodil Delight. Okay, so Daffodil Delight is going to be the base of our bulbs. And you need four of these. So remember to keep yourself a little bit of a gap between the top of your stamped image and the top of your card. Two, three, four. Okay. And then for the filament, for this one, I'm actually going to use the bigger filament. So in the cards we've made so far, I've used the smaller image, but this one I'm going for the large one. So this is crushed curry. And you want to just stamp those really nicely straight on top of the bulbs. Okay. That gives you something that looks like this. Once you've done that, you're going to use the die to cut them out, and then they look like this. Okay, pop that to one side. And these screws are adhesive backed, so peel off the backing, take out that little piece in the loop. And just add them to your bulbs. I'll definitely be buying some more of this paper because I just love how sparkly it is. It's so good. Online exclusives are available while stocks last as well. So if you do have a little a little particular fondness of this, I would definitely stock up. 
Right, so there are my bulbs. Um, for the sentiment, we've got Holly Jolly Christmas. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, so I'm going to stamp in Blueberry Bushel, which is this ink here. I'm stamping that onto my white card. Holly Jolly and then Christmas. So that's done. And I want to cut those out. So for the Christmas, I'm just following the image, shape of the image, and cutting that out. I am leaving a little white border between the image and the edge of my card. I think it just looks a little bit neater. And then Holly Jolly, I'm going to fussy cut around. Again, just following the shape of the image. Trimming it round. You could cut it into a banner if you wanted to. there that's it it's actually quite a nice one to cut around there we go holly jolly christmas so now i have everything i need to put the card together i'm going to turn these bulbs over and add me some dimensionals always be sure to use the edges of your dimensionals And there's no waste. Okay. So let's take the card and I want to lay that about there. I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to thread them onto my card. I have really enjoyed using this set. So there we have it. So I'm not sticking that down. That is nice and secure in there, that wire. So we don't need to do anything else. And then it's going to leave me to stick this on. and there we go that is the fourth card all made i did enjoy making that that's one of my favorite ones but i'm not going to lie the favorite card is the last one of the set and it looks a little bit like this absolutely love this you're going to need a blending brush for this you're going to need some white craft ink and I'm going to share with you how to put that card together on the next video. So do check out video number four. And if you have any comments or questions, do let me know. Bye for now.